Hello friends, welcome to another video in analog electronics series. In this video, we'll talk about the effect of negative feedback on output and input resistances, which is a very, very important topic. And the prerequisites to studying this topic is the uh, total understanding of feedback configurations. So if this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, when we talk about the effect of negative feedback, I've written down all the four configurations possible, the voltage series, current series, current shunt and voltage shunt. And before I explain the effect of the output resistance with feedback and input resistance with feedback, let's just look into the table you need to be very very conversant with this table at all times because this is supremely important that in voltage series configuration the output resistance will decrease and the input resistance will increase in current series both of them will increase and in current shunt output resistance will increase and input resistance will decrease and in voltage shunt both of them will decrease now how does that happen we'll see in a moment so taking you back to this diagram which we studied in the previous tutorial uh, please understand the resistances that we are talking about are IF and ROF are the effective input resistance and output resistance after this feedback has been completed so what happens is in these circuits you would not be able to see them so let's draw them first so what is going to be my rif now where exactly will it lie so it will lie somewhere here so this internal resistance ri after applying the feedback what will be the effect on this ri will it increase or will it decrease and similarly over here we have a voltage source and along with this voltage source we have this RO so this ROF and RIF is what we are wanting to uh, calculate so let me just quickly draw all the RIs and ROs in all the four diagrams Okay, now that you know the placement of RIs and ROs in all the feedback configurations, um, let me just write down the names of the configurations here also. This is voltage series. And this is current series. And this is current shunt and this is voltage shunt okay now let's talk about output resistance first now the negative feedback which samples the output voltage which are these two cases this one and this one whenever voltage is sampled we see that some amount of resistance is placed in parallel with the load resistance which will result in the decrease of the load resistance however the load resistance will increase the load resistance will increase its value in order to compensate for the loss of output voltage and the increase of the load voltage will automatically determine that our ROF is decreasing right so that's the rationale over here whenever the voltage sampling is happening for negative feedback our output resistance will decrease let's check in the table 
So whenever the voltage is being taken from the output, the output resistance decreases. So that's the rationale behind the output resistance being lowered down because RL will decrease its value because of a parallel resistance placed and it will try to increase its value in order to compensate V0 and that will result in the decrease of ROF. Now let's talk about the other case whenever we sample current whenever we sample current the opposite of that happens because RL is now being increased because some series resistance is being placed and it will try to lower itself down in order to keep the current constant and when RL is lowering itself down that means ROF is increasing with respect to RL. So basically what you need to remember is that what is the effect of RL? Is RL going down or is RL going up? If RL is going up that means ROF is decreasing. If RL is going down that means ROF is increasing. And why is RL going down? Because the total output resistance is increasing as a result of series resistance being placed in the circuit. Alright, so you need to see that in case of current sampling, the output resistance increases. Okay, now let's talk about the input resistance. In order to understand input resistance which is by the way the case here where a voltage is being placed in series mixing like this with a negative sign here and a positive sign here and these are the two cases where the voltage is being placed with a negative sign here and a positive sign here Right. And these are the two cases of the current sampling where also the current will flow like this. So that is depicted using these two diagrams at the mixer part of the feedback circuit. So whenever VF is placed in such a way, let's see what will happen. Whenever the feedback signal is returned to the input in series, it opposes the applied voltage and this IS will be lowered and because this IS will be lowered, this RI will tend to increase itself in order to drop maximum voltage. So the effect of negative uh, series mixing will be the increase of ri now let's check this so whenever series mixing is happening whenever series mixing is happening the rif is increasing and the simple reason is that uh, this voltage is being lowered down so the series current is being lowered down in order to keep this voltage at a constant level because this voltage is further going to uh, further going to be used in the amplification so this resistance must increase itself to compensate for the loss of voltage as a result of loss of source current now let's see the opposite of this now let's look at the case where shunt mixing is happening the source current will be divided into two parts and I, I current which goes into the input resistance will only be maximized if Ri decreases 
if the value of ri is very very low only then maximum amount of current will flow into ri thereby resulting in maximum drop of voltage or the maximum current drawn we want very lesser amount of current to go into this path so ri should be very very low and you'll find that whenever shunt mixing is happening whenever shunt mixing is happening the input resistance decreases so that's how the negative feedback affects the input and output resistances and i hope you liked the video and the concept was explained properly and if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you around in the next video till then take care of your health and goodbye